Okay, we've got to start with Nathan. Last time we saw him, he was buried alive. How does he get out of it? Oh, now, I don't bury and tell. Now, that was some, uh, supposed to be a reference to kiss and tell, but it was so weird and obscure that I felt I had to explain it. But, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't get buried and tell, eh? You're going to have to find out for yourself. But to be honest with you, every time someone comes up to me in the street and goes, I know how you get out of the coffin, mate. And I go, oh, yeah? And then they tell me, and they're usually right. So uh, go with your first instincts, because, yeah, that's it. And now he's immortal, will he be even more cocky than he was before? Yeah, even more stupid, even more arrogant for the sake of it, and outlandishly brave, you might say. But uh, we'd all be brave if we couldn't die, wouldn't you? I'd be, you know, I'd be a daredevil tomorrow, because plus, you know, you get the chicks. The more scars you have, the more women you have. That's the equation. So, uh, yeah, basically, he, he just becomes far more stupid. And, uh, you know, because that's, that's permission if you can't die, isn't it, if you're immortal? Yeah. You know, but, but the thing about it is, is that he realises as well that every time he dies, it's a horribly painful experience. So it is like, it's almost like, you know, getting electrocuted or something. It's something, it's like a version therapy. He doesn't want it to happen, but inevitably it does, because it's misfits, and it's all about death. <laughs> Um, we saw him save the group, though, in the last episode. So will we see a bit of a softer side? You do see a softer side. There's, um, I believe, in episode two. What I like about this series as well is there's a great big Irish invasion, right? We're like an infestation, as the comedian Tommy Tiernan says. You see two of us go into a house, and then three months later, 45 of us come out. That's Tommy Tiernan now. I'm not stealing your joke, Tommy. I love you. <laughs> but, uh, uh, so basically, yeah, you do see a lot of stuff because uh, uh, Nathan's uh, family life is explored and a new and mysterious character comes back uh, who, who claims to be his brother. And he's a, a wonderful young man from Tullamore called Sam Keeley. We love Sam. Sam's amazing. We love you, Sam. We love you, Sam. We miss you. Uh, yes, yeah, so, so the, yeah, through, through the domestic violence, there's a softer side explored. Ooh, all right. <laughs> what about Kelly and Nathan? What's going to come up for them? Um, well, the, um, again, it's the awkwardness of it. I yeah. think, obviously, everyone knows what's going to happen. They, they do kind of have the little fumble in the jungle. <laughs> uh, and the jungle. Uh, again, it turns again awkward after that. So it, it happens quite early on as well, I think, in, this, in, the, in the second series, doesn't it, really? But, uh, yeah, through the, I think, out of boredom, more than anything else, yeah. there's this... Because, uh, w well, there's a bit, my character explains the first series, that so there's, there's, you know, two girls and three guys thrown together day by yeah, day. Who is it something's going to happen. Yeah, no. Just out of sheer monotony, something's going to happen. So that eventually does come to a fore. And uh, they have a little awkward, romantic, and hopefully hilarious uh, encounter. Yeah. Does Kelly start to get a bit more comfortable with her powers? Um, I don't think she'll ever be comfortable with them. I think, uh, again, you see a lot of uh, Kelly's side, which is quite softer and vulnerable, and she encounters a, quite a nice relationship with somebody, and, again, you see how soft and vulnerable she is in that way. Um, I don't think she'll ever be comfortable or settled. I don't think any of us, really, as characters, like what we've got, apart from him, because... It just <laughs> just dies all the time. Yeah. But uh, I don't think I think all of us are in the same boat. Really, just got to accept it. So yeah. yeah well, more nuisances than power. Yeah, I they think. are. Yeah. Will we ever see them getting any other abilities? Uh, well, I learned to skateboard halfway through. No, that's a lie. That's a lie. But I do get an air ballooning license. Half, that's a lie as well. I made oh, that up. Oh, it's just sad. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, other abilities are explored. What you do see quite a bit is um, is the is the consequences of the storm on a larger scale. I think you start to see, like very much like Smallville, <laughs> taken clean out of Smallville. Uh, uh, you see the, you see uh, far more consequences of the storm and characters coming in with more outlandish and ridiculous powers to their names, and that causes you know drama, comedy, all those great things that we. Hopefully we'll have Rio in the next coming few weeks. <laughs>